in the Bible, prophets, and you get to say hard things, you get to rebuke people, you get to say that the powers that are of your day, hey, you guys are doing things wrong, you need to repent, but the prophets paid for it, mostly with their lives. Crowder wants to change it that, oh, now it's, you know, 2020, there's things like Big Con and Daily Wire, how about now the prophets well, instead of like dying or being persecuted or being in jail, how about you get uh, millions of dollars and a, and a safe space? Even if Crowder 100% didn't care about the money and was 100% on a crusade to protect young and upcoming conservative YouTubers, he would be misleading them. Even if you disregard all the red flags of Crowder's noble quest to vanquish Big Brother censorship clauses and Big Con contracts, Crowder would still be fighting the wrong battle. Jesus Christ in the garden after the Last Supper prayed for another way, but went to the cross anyway. The apostles were mostly martyred, but Crowder's crusade is to make sure if he and upcoming right-leaning influencers say things the devil, the god of this age, don't want others to hear, did Jonah demand millions of dollars guaranteed or else he wouldn't go to Nineveh and tell them to repent? Jonah, like other prophets of God, wasn't even guaranteed physical safety, let alone, and he didn't get to just do it from a screen. He had to be walking around in the streets telling people to repent. It's one thing if you're telling people on a screen things that they don't want to hear, but no one can throw rocks at you, no one can push you around. It's much worse if you're on the streets telling people, hey, the stuff that you guys love, it's wrong, you need to repent. It's a lot more scary when they can touch you, chain you up, hit you, whatever. Crowder doesn't just want physical safety, but a life of luxury. Stephen acts as if he's better than the Daily Wire, that the Daily Wire is just a greedy business in bed with big tech and the god of this world. The Daily Wire says they want to also make a cultural difference. They're not just a business. They need the money to do that, and they need to stay within the realm of not getting kicked off of large platforms and being boycotted by businesses that want to advertise on their shows. What's Crowder's real difference with them? Does he say, no, you don't need the money. If you're on God's side, you just need the unfiltered truth. No, Crowder also wants the money. He just wants to make sure no matter what, the money goes to him. That if he gets canceled and the Daily Wire can't make money from advertisements from him, Crowder wants his money anyway. The real difference with the Daily Wire would be someone saying, because of my belief in the Bible and examples of mouthpieces of God in the Bible, I don't think you need money to preach, and in fact, I think the two don't mix. More than getting a guarantee to be rich, I don't think you're even guaranteed to be in a safe space or untouched from trials and tribulations and persecution for preaching the truth. Crowder doesn't just want to avoid going up on a cross for being a Christian, he wants to be rich and have a safe space where he can be a professional comedian instead of running the risk of having his club members not pay his bills for him telling them jokes and pandering to them, telling them how special they are. That's very different than with Jesus telling his followers hard things like eat my flesh, drink my blood, the road is narrow, few find it, where crowd are going, hey, there's so many of you. Did you know how many of you are out there? You guys are so great. Can you please keep paying my bills? Jesus could just kept giving them magical free bread and probably could be just as funny as Crowder but Jesus cared more about their souls than making sure his followers paid for his house. And Crowder doesn't tell his people repent. He masks their soul's danger with entertainment and a delusion of you can speak the hard truth and be free of persecution, which goes against the Bible that says, yes, all of you who want to you know, follow after Jesus will be persecuted. Jesus saying, hey, if they hated me, they're gonna hate you. Was Crowder saying he was not even looking to get paid? If he got killed for not taking the mark of the beast, so be it. He was going to proclaim Christ crucified and raised and not bend any knee to the beast system. John the Baptist was not an entertainer. In the Gospel of Matthew, the first thing John the Baptist is recorded to have said is, repent for the kingdom of God has come near. John wasn't getting paid. He was living out in the wild eating bugs. John got imprisoned and beheaded for calling out the sin of the big tech of his days. If Crowder wants to proclaim the Daily Wire and other big conservative media is bad because they're too interested in getting paid, but he's a man on a mission, on a higher calling, then he should be willing to spread his message free of charge. Otherwise, he's just arguing with the Daily Wire with how much of a sellout is kosher or not. If Crowder wants to play him just an entertainer, that's fine. 
then he's no more holy than the Daily Wire and shouldn't be bashing their business model or reliance on advertisers. Crowder panders to his audience, telling them how great they are for sending him money by joining his club. Compare that with the apostles of Jesus telling people you need to repent and following them. There is no safety net if you follow them. If you follow Jesus, there's no safety net. If you follow Christ, it's a death sentence. Are you willing to take up your cross or do you love your cozy life in this world too much?